So the HTML page looks exactly how we need it and now we're just going to write some code to attach to just this particular button to start with just to make sure that the link to the file is working. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this open and I'm just going to do a new file and um, I'll just save this just so I'm going to just do a save as and this file it needs to be in the same folder as the HTML page uh, it just makes it easier I mean it doesn't have to be uh, but it makes it easier if it is and this is going to be called uh, quiz.js so js for JavaScript just save that and the very first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to write a function uh, so this is a bit like um, in PowerPoints when we did uh, in uh, um, subroutines. So we're just going to give this function a, a name and this one is just going to be um, say hello. That's all, all this is going to do. Um, and uh, so the syntax for JavaScript is, um, well, it's a proper programming language actually it's it's really quite powerful um, so we need to put uh, curly braces at the beginning and end of the code that um, is part of the function and all this is going to do is it's going to uh, display a message which says hello uh, that's all it's going to do because we're just going to check it and then we need to end that with a semicolon so the syntax is really important because there won't be any error messages saying, oh, by the way, this doesn't work. Um, so you need to check that quite carefully. So we're going to save this file. And then I'm going to go back to my um, uh, other file, the HTML file, so that I can create a link to this file and add this to the button. So um, I've just had to start Notepad up again to open this file because it only ha holds one file in a window. So I've got um, my HTML file and then I've got the JavaScript file here. Uh, so we can see the name and the link basically to the JavaScript file sits in the head section. So that's the very first thing we need to do is tell it that um, there's, a, there's a JavaScript file associated with this internet page. Uh, so I need a, a script tag and close that I couldn't put a closing tag in for me I mean we can just close it a lot more elegantly but no, I'm just going to uh, keep the same convention that we've got for everything and within the script tag we basically need to say um, here in script we're going to change the attribute to say the source is equal to and then in quotes I'm going to this name here so quiz.js and close the quotes so we've done that bit and the other thing that we're going to do on our HTML file is the button which says hello on it we're going to make a change to the attribute of that as well so we're going to say on click so this is what we want to happen when that button is clicked equals and then in quotes I just need to have this particular name here of the function just to say hello with the two curly braces afterwards so say hello uh, two curly braces and close that uh, quote so that's what it looks like so we've created a link to this function from the button but before we could even do that, we had to say, um, you know, I've got a script file and uh, that's the source is uh, quiz.js. If it was in another folder, then you'd put the path of the folder so it could find the file. Uh, but we've hopefully got it in the same folder, so that doesn't matter. So if we save this and refresh it now. Um, uh, so Internet Explorer says, all right, there's some active content going to happen. Do you want to allow it? Yes, we do want to allow it. And what should happen now is if I click on hello, oh, nothing happens. So there is one way of actually debugging what's um, up with the code. 
and so um, if you do F12 to get developer tools then one of the things that it gives you under script it kind of lists what's available but if we refresh our page um, and then click on the hello button and then it actually tells us that there's an error with line 26 so if I click on that and have a read of that um, well that's exactly the same as the name of the function is exactly the same as the function that I've got here so that's not a problem so it's somehow saying that it's not recognizing it so if that's not the problem then it must be the name of the file so if I scroll up here oh this is supposed to be short for source so it's that way around I should have noticed that actually it's highlighted it in yellow didn't recognize it so if I save this now um, I can close the developer um, uh, window and just refresh and we should get okay we've got a message which comes up quite annoying really the sound it makes but uh, the message comes up and um, so we know that the link to our JavaScript file works okay so that that bits done and now we're going to actually do some proper stuff so at least we know that the link isn't the problem and if anything goes wrong with our submit then it's something else that we need to look at.